you, myself, Kirti Chandol, Assistant Professor at Oriental College of Technology, Bhopal. Today, I am here with the topic, Pile Foundation. Actually, what is foundation? Foundation is the base, the substructure of any kind of structure which holds all the load which comes from the superstructure. We are having two types of foundation, that is shallow foundation and deep foundation. In the deep foundation, we are having three criteria, that is pile foundation, well foundation and pier foundation. In our topic today, we are going to discuss about pile foundation. Introduction. Pile foundation have been used in many years, for many years, for carrying and transferring the load to the soil considered to be weak in the structure due to soil condition. When the soil condition is weak, we are not getting the hard strata, that time we can use the pile foundation because it can go to the longer depth. In the early stages of development, villages and towns were located in near the closely closely lake or river due to the availability of water and also to ensure proper protection for the area. Therefore, the weak bearing ground are reinforced. The primitive method of pile installation are modified after the industrial revolution and the technique of installation by steam or diesel driven machine are introduced nowadays. What are foundation, foundation varieties? When the strata at or just below the foundation surface is highly compressible or very weak to support the load transmitted by the structure. When the plan of the structure is irregular relative to its outline and load distribution, it would cause non-uniform settlement if the shallow foundation is constructed. A pile foundation is required to reduce differential settlement. It means when we are having a plan where we are having irregular types of outline, where if we are providing shallow foundation, it may create a non-uniform settlement. It means in a locate in one corner there is some other settlement and in the other corner there is other settlement, which will cause damage to the construction. It may collapse. It may fail. To rectify that problem, we can use pile foundation which will reduce the differential settlement. Pile foundations are modified for the transmission of structure load through deep water to the firm strata. In case of expensive soil such as black cotton soil, which swells and shrinks as the water content changes, piles are used to transmit the load below the active zone. Collapsible soil such as losses has a breakdown of structure accompanied by a sudden decrease in void ratio when there is increase in the water content. These are the requirements of pile foundation. Pile foundation versus well foundation. Well foundation provided a very huge, a solid, a massive construction massive foundation of heavy load as against a cluster of piles which are slender and weak individually and are liable to get damaged when hit by floating tree or boulder rolling in the river bed. Piles provide wells provide a large section modulus with minimum cross-sectional area and hence efficient in taking large vertical and horizontal load even when the unsupported length is large. Concreting a well staining is done under dry and controlled condition and hence the quality of work is ensured. However, some cannot hold good in case of cast in situ board piles where concreting is to be under done under water or below ground level. Even in case of precast piles, the concrete is subjected to heavy stresses during driving driven operation and consequent damages cannot be ruled out. When scour takes place, the pile acts as long strut and have to be designed for buckling stresses, which are quite heavy to the bending moment 
contributed by the longitudinal forces on the bridge deck due to attacking efforts and breaking forces. It is difficult to drive the pile through the strata having boulders or tree logs which are frequently encountered in alluvial soil. Whereas in the case of well foundation, there is sufficient access to remove the obstruction. Quite often, the skin friction developed in is of much magnitude as to prevent further driving of the pile, although a firm strata has not been raised. The adoption of pile foundation is advantageous over well foundation where the soil characteristics and condition of water table are such that the phenomena of blow occurs during dewatering of water. Increased mechanization and advent of new machinery have brought down the cost of foundation with pile considerably low in comparison to well. New testing techniques for checking the integrity of pile and information about strata through pile have passed or the resting have removed the uncertainty of load carrying capacity of pile to large extent. Here it means that if you are comparing pile and well foundation, the well foundation is far better. Pile foundation have a clear advantage over well foundation. It in terms of speed construction. Pile foundation is far better than the well foundation because all of these advantages. Well foundation is a huge and massive construction with a screen friction and pile foundation in this we are having many piles with the pile cap. So it is more advantageous. However, time is time is a criticism. The pile foundation is the natural choice types of pile precast driven piles these are usually of rcc or pre-stressed concrete and generally small in size for ease in handling the main advantage of these piles these type of piles is that its quality in terms of dimension use of reinforcement and concrete can be ensured as the pile are cast in the yard under controlled condition. Precast pile means when the piles are already constructed, are constructed in the shop, in the controlled condition, proper measures, it gives a good strength than the site in situ pile. However, care is needed while handling, transporting, and driving the pile to avoid the damages. The limitation of length depending upon the capacity of the driving equipment is a disadvantage as these cannot be taken very deep extent by joining. Generally, the depth over which these are used is restricted to 36 meters. Next is driven cast in situ pile. Previously, we saw pre-cast piles that are constructed made in the shop and it is cast in situ means when we are casting the pile in the site. The steel casing pile with a shoe at the bottom is driven first to the required depth. The reinforcement cage for the pile is then lowered inside the casing and the pile is concreted. As the concreting of the pile proceeds upward, the casing is withdrawn keeping a suitable overlapping length. When such piles are driven in a short soil and the tube is withdrawn while concreting, it affects resistance and changes the property of soil and this also affects the capacity of individual pile. There is, there are not suitable, these are not suitable for use in the soft soil. Is greater depth and where keeping the rock is required means in the cast institute and cast institute and uh, the previous one that is cast precast driven piles in this what is the difference the precast piles are constructed in the shop with a controlled measure where we can take we can control everything and we can 
check for its quality next the cast institute thing is constructed in the site means it's the controlled measure the everything which can increase its strength cannot be monitored properly therefore cast precast piles are better than cast in situ piles bored precast pile a hole is bored using a casing and a precast pile is inserted into it after securing it in position the casing is withdrawn means first of all we bore it put a case inside then the pile is casted a particular process used for the bored precast pile is the binotto process which involves a steel tube being pushed into the soil turned and reversed using compressed air the tube is in the form of casing or is driven for the entire depth after the soil is progressively grabbed from the tube a steel tube is kept in uh, inserted inside the soil and the all the soil is grabbed out it is emptying then the pile is been casted the process is continued till the tube reaches the we determine level when the precast pile is lowered inside and held in position the tube is lifted gradually after filling the annual gap between the precast pile and the soil by grouting driven steel pipe steel pipe are can be circular or in other structural shape these the circular ones are made in the form of either welded or stainless steel usually steel or cast iron pile used earlier for bridge structures are of longer di diameter and screw tight these were used in the past when loading was less these piles are suitable for being driven through cohesive soil to reach up to the hard strata and to such serve as bearing pile they are not suitable where heavy scour is expected or and for foundation for bridge where foundation are suited wide apart means these types of uh, piles were used were used in the past ancient time next these are the piles which we can use in this video we saw about pile foundation why we need pile foundation what are the comparison between pile foundation and well foundation and its strength thank you have a nice day